Welcome to the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey and whiskey type related stuff, please consider hitting that subscribe button with a notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the 1792 Small Batch. Established in 1879, the Barton 1792 Distillery is the oldest fully operating distillery in Barstown, Kentucky. The distillery itself was renamed the Barton 1792 Distillery in 2009 when it was bought out by the Sazerac Company. The significance on the 1792 name is it is the year that Kentucky became a state. 1792 Small Batch is the flagship whiskey of the 1792 range. Originally bottled as an eight-year-old bourbon and bearing the name 1792 Ridgemont Reserve and Ridgewood Reserve, Brown Foreman took legal action in 2004, claimed consumer confusion with Woodford Reserve, and the result is the current name and bottle design. In 2013, the age statement was permanently phased out, but the range has expanded from only the small batch offering to include the 1792 Sweet Wheat, Port Finish, Full Proof, Single Barrel, High Rye, Bottled and Bond, 12 Year, and a Limited Release, 225th Anniversary Bottling. This is a Sazerac Company product from the Barton 1792 Distillery. It's a non-age stated whiskey with an undisclosed mass bill, but is marketed as a high rye whiskey. The ABV is 46.85%, 93.7 proof with an MSRP of around $25. Let's check out the bottle. All right, the bottling on this one, guys, I think it's very sleek, elegant bottling. It's gold everywhere. The, the curves on the bottle, I think, are very sleek, elegant, sleek look to the bottle. It says 1792 small batch right here in gold. On the back also, it has a little bit of a backstory talking about 1792. It's in honor of the year that Kentucky joined the United States. Right there on the back, a little bit of a backstory. Around the stem or the neck, there is like a leather textured, textured piece of paper. I'm sure it's not leather, it's probably more pleather than leather, but it does have, have a nice look to it. The cork, also oversized top on the cork that is also gold. It is a synthetic cork. Overall, I think they've done an excellent job on the bottling. It does kind of set itself away from everything else on the shelf. With that being said, let's get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. All right, guys, check out the color. The color on this one is a nice honey, copper, a light copper, light amber color to the whiskey. Roll it around the glass just a little bit, check the viscosity, see how viscous the whiskey is. It is clean in the glass fairly well. Seems to be quite viscous, oily. Nice viscosity, nice color to the whiskey. Let's get into the nose. Vanilla, caramel. A nice rye spice or baking spice. It is coming in a little hot. There's a little bit of an ethanol tinge to the nose. It's nosing like a higher proof whiskey than what it actually is. Maybe a little cinnamon. Has a little bit of a floral sense to it also. But mostly caramel and vanilla. Baking spice, some rye spice, a little bit of a floral essence, and a little bit of an ethanol tinge to it also. It is nosing like a higher proof whiskey than what it actually is. I have let this open up in the glass for about, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes before I actually went into the nosing. Nice nose on it. Not as approachable as some of your other whiskeys. It is coming a little hot. Once again, vanilla, caramel. It does have a floral essence a little bit. Some baking spices. The rye spice is definitely coming through on the whiskey. And I may be getting a hint of a, of a cherry also. Overall, nice nose on the whiskey. Not the most approachable nose, but a very nice nose on the whiskey. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Mm. Ooh. 
caramel vanilla raw spice baking spice the finish i'd say it's middle of the row nice mouthfeel on the whiskey it is more viscous than i thought it was going to be due in part to what we got on looking at the color checking the viscosity it was not clinging to the glass very well but man it is a nice oily whiskey it really is coating the mouth quite nicely once again it's mainly vanilla and caramel in rye spice there is a little bit of like an ethanol tinge to it it is drinking a little bit hotter than what you would expect from a 93.7 proof whiskey it's 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 drinking like a higher proof whiskey on the first sip let's go in for a second cheers really following suit with the nose caramel vanilla front of the palate mid palate rye spice is really kicking in some baking spice there is a little bit of a floral essence to it but in the finish it's all sweetness with a vanilla and caramel note maybe a little bit of a a little bit of an oak note not much a little bit of an oak note on the finish on the second sip nice second sip it's going for a third cheers nice mouthfeel it is coating the mouth very nicely once again finish i would say is middle of the row medium finish and it's loads of vanilla like a vanilla bean and, and deep rich caramel and a rye spice and a baking spice mid palate and it's finishing off once again and just a rich caramel note complemented with some rye spice very nice third sip nice pour let's get into my final thoughts my final thoughts on the 1792 small batch guys it's a good solid pour of whiskey it's 25 bucks it does offer some rich flavors it's definitely not super complex it's kind of three-dimensional vanilla caramel rye spice but the flavors you are getting are are deep it does drink a little bit hot but i think for 25 dollars it is a great value pour now we're going to get into the winners of the infinity bottle contest i did a i did a review on or how to create and how to maintain affinity bottle and i really didn't know how to do this i thought about doing a randomizer but i thought the best way to do it would be to do right in front of you i put everyone's names that answered the question correctly in this cup i just want to be as fair as possible if you're listed number one on a randomizer it's probably not real fair so i think i'm just going to draw the names out of a cup i'm trying to be as fair as possible about this but you will get a two ounce sample if I pull your name out of this cup. All right, the first person I'm gonna draw is Bourbon and a Baby. Bourbon and a Baby, I'm gonna leave my email down in the description below. Just email me with your mailing info and I will send a sample out as soon as I get everyone else's info. Winner number two, Is the bourbon apprentice the bourbon apprentice is winner number two once again just email me my email address will be down in the description as soon as i get everybody's information together i'll send out the samples it'll probably be sometime mid next week when i send the samples let's go for winner number three i thank everyone so much for just being a part of this it's pretty cool the toxic vapor review it's winner number three all right that's the three winners thank everyone so much for participating i'll send out as soon as i get everyone's info i will send out two ounce samples 
to everybody as soon as I give everybody everybody's info. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. I thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, once again, I want to thank you so much for your support. If you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers.